Hey guys, Braden from Adrenaline Rush Sports Australia. Today I'm going to talk about wingtip lines and what effect these have on your kite and your kite's performance. So here I've got uh, my GP, 9 metre, um, great kite. Uh, basically what I'm talking about is these three settings here and then also the knots on your line here. So basically if you're new to the sport you don't really understand or just don't really have much of an idea on what these do, um, I'm going to give you a little bit of an explanation. So I found when I was uh, riding these kites, I have uh, a couple of different sizes in GPs, so I noticed that when I started to fly them, I started to trim each individual kite just a little bit differently just, you know, due to the size of the kite and how I like to fly it. Um, and the main things I did change were these three positions and then the front position there that we'll get into in the future. But basically what we want to try and understand is what sort of effect these does. Now, now roughly all your kites will probably come out into the middle setting here. Basically it's um, right on the end is the faster turning speed, right at the front it's going to be harder bar pressure. Now um, if you, you know, it's, that's common knowledge for a lot of people that have been in the industry. Um, what I found though is when I, especially for flying these kites and flying other kites in particular, the further forward you have your knot, the more progressive the turning is going to be. So uh, if you understand what a pivot turn is, is basically when you try and turn the kite, it really pivots on the, on the wing tip. So if you, that's what would happen if you're out on this and not here. So let's just say you're going out and you wanted to do some big mega loops or something, you want a really fast aggressive kite, you'd grab this uh, bad boy here and you chuck it right to the end of your wingtip line here. Now saying that, you've got to take into consideration the size of the kite that you have as well. Now going back to what I said about me having a few uh, GPs and trying to understand what setting I like on what kite, I found that the nine, for me personally, this is my own preference, that I preferred the 9 to have it on the hard bar pressure settings just so it made it a little bit more progressive but made it turn a little bit slower. I'm quite heavy handed, um, especially when I unhook, so I tend to uh, shoot the kite up into the power zone a, a fair bit, which is something I don't want to do. But I found moving up to the hard bar pressure setting here definitely made it a lot easier. Um, my 11 meter that I have, I run in the middle, and then for my 13, I actually run on the end, so a little bit bigger. Um, I, like, I just like the feel of it. Uh, now we have two knots here as well and now you'd imagine with, with some kites, it doesn't have to be five line C kites, but four line kites, entry level kites, or whatever you have, you'll, sometimes these wingtip lines will be quite long, it just depends on the configuration that you've got. But what these knots do, basically they will determine how much leverage you can put onto the kite when you pull your bar in. So what I mean by leverage is, if you shorten your wingtip lines by a knot, you're going to have more ability to pitch your kite back further. So basically going up a knot, they used to say it gives you more power, and going down a knot gives you less power. Uh, I've only ever really ran, ran on the end knot for these kites in particular, but um, generally if you do have like a bigger kite, like a 17 or something, and you want to get the most out of it, understanding going up a knot is probably going to help you there, but it's going to change the characteristics of how it flies as well. Um, that's basically it. They, they just remember they shorten your front lines if you go up a knot, gives you the ability to pitch the kite back further and capture more wind. The further forward you have your, your wingtip knot, the more progressive turning it's going to be. The further back that you have it, the faster and more it's going to pivot turn. Uh, and like I said, if uh, go out and try with all your different size kites if you have a few in the same, uh, same model. And you might find that you might rather fly a smaller kite on something like this and a bigger kite, something on the end tip and uh, wingtip line there. Brad from Magellan and Rush. I hope this gave you a little bit of an understanding of wingtip lines and what you should consider when flying your kites. Cheers, guys. Check out adrenalinerush.net.au for all the links.